I love perch fishing because it's just really mobile, especially sort of as I'm going out in the colder months. I like to be active, not sort of sat in one place, getting cold. I'm always moving about, watching a float brings you back to sort of your, your childhood when you're, you're fishing uh, rivers and lakes with a float. It's always lovely to watch. And it looks like we've got a big perch on, very big perch. Three pound, four ounce. I sort of keep my perch fishing similar to my carp fishing. I like to be mobile, moving about, trying to find the fish. The thing is with perch, it's never visual as in like you're going to see the perch there. Carp, you can see them swimming about, uh, cruising around. Perch always stay, stay deep and you, you will very rarely see a big perch in the water. But the same approach applies. I'll be moving regularly, trying to find fish, drop onto fish by getting bites. Um, with carp you've got the visual aspect to that but it's, it's very similar to my perch fishing in sort of the mobility and uh, the light approach that I take. Much like my carp fishing I tend to set myself little targets when out oh, targeting big perch. It takes me to all different type of venues really, small really shallow rivers where you would never think anything lives in there but like I said earlier the crayfish full of crays and the perch just get massive. It's more, you can't really target a certain fish, but you tend to set yourself targets as like the weight of the fish, you know? You're always trying to better yourself and catch a bigger perch. I've been lucky enough to catch giant perch of five pound three, which is a, a dream fish. And uh, will definitely take some beating. I probably <laughs> might not ever beat that. But yeah, I, I tend to sort of set myself targets and try different venues and yeah it's, it's nice different places it's it, it's a cool sort of way of fishing i often get asked what's it like fishing the, the more busier venues to me it's normal i grew up fishing park lakes and stuff where you got rods uh, dogs jumping into your rods and all kinds of stuff going on so to have a few cyclists and members of the public walk past on on the river towpath it's, it's actually uh, nice you feel I feel a little bit at home on venues like that instead of uh, in the middle of nowhere on your own so yes yeah, it's, it's nothing to worry about and sometimes them places hold hold the better fish because they're often underlooked by a lot of people that are out fishing for a little bit of peace and quiet. Oh, there we go, bruv, we're on. Well, it's getting to the witching hour now, and uh, just had a bite, although I think this is a pike. It's a magical time of day to be a uh, fishing down the river and certainly the time where a lot of big perch are out and about hunting. So let's get this in, if he doesn't bite us off. Well, there's the culprit. A nice little jack pike. Not what we're after, but it's still a bit of action. We're gonna maximize the time by quickly getting them unhooked and getting a new bait out there. Because there's not long left this time of day. Well, it's not what we're after, but still a result. Just have a quick look at him. Get him unhooked and put him back. Lovely pike.
lights fading, had a really subtle bite. Now, it feels like a perch. If it is, it, it could be a very good one. Heavy, so I'm not 100% convinced, but we will see. The more I'm thinking now, it could be a pike. Feels really heavy. It's not a bad one either. Good pike. Same one, isn't it? Another nice pike. But still not that perch we're after. I'll slip this one back and get that rod back out because that light is really fading. Well, literally had a big old wrestle with this one. But I thought I'd get him out because he's actually quite a pretty pike. Probably about 11 pound. Good fish on light tackle. Let's get him back. It's almost dark now, so I'm gonna call it a day. I'm absolutely buzzing with that perch earlier. Three pound four done what I've come to do and catch a lovely river perch fish of a lifetime it's well exciting and keeps you busy on these short cold winter days so I'm going to be driving home a happy boy and uh, buzzing all weekend with that result <laughs>